Welcome to my Java NetBean Piano tutorial. I'll just show you guys how this uh, program works. It works like my previous uh, piano tutorial that are on YouTube. So the next thing I will do right now is uh, take you to the development environment where you guys will see how I've system so let's go into the java development environment now hi uh, welcome to my java net being a piano so i'm going to start by selecting java application click on next and i'll just call that piano and uncheck the create main click on finish now my piano project is set right click on the piano itself and select uh, J frame form now just give that a name piano let me put a net now let's take that off just call it piano underscore play okay I just call it piano underscore play or maybe piano the next one is piano as well piano s the other one is piano p okay that's fine so this will be my class and this will be my package this is my package that's my class name right there click on finish okay the next thing i would do is uh, just insert a button in that's my button right there and i uh, just increase it to about that's okay that's looking good now let me go into the properties here just set one or two things i want to uh, look for the border first border let's change the border to bevel border and race that's cool do i want any color no i'll leave the setting the way it is and the font make that bold let's say about 36 yeah that's fine and let's go for the alignment vertical alignment right there put that dead at the bottom there now let me now change the text content in there to that will be letter a or letter c c sharp good so what I'll do is just copy this across and I'll get back to you guys so I, I now have up to E I need one more key so let me just I've pasted it already just paste that in there I'll make that my F1 okay I have an F1 there now the next thing is I might as well just paste one of these as well and now convert that to my other key up here let me just change this the size of that so about that bring that up there somewhere and just change the key of that to c sharp okay i think i'm gonna have to increase that a bit or maybe reduce the size yeah might as well reduce the size to about 24 yeah, that's fine. There, yeah, that's C sharp. And let's copy that across. And the next one will be my D sharp. Okay, so I will now speed things up and get back to you guys. Um, just before I continue, let me change the font color to white. And... Uh, the back color let's make that black let's make that black uh, let's see and this uh, yep there we go yeah yeah that's fine that's more like it so if i let me just run it and see how it will look like for now okay guys that's how it looks right now 
so let's just uh, finish it up and I'll get back to you okay, that okay this is how my system uh, piano looks right now so the next thing is to go straight into the code view I need to import some uh, component on board so I will start by importing oh sorry about that import son dot audio audio dot white card and I will also import java dot io this is my white card as well yeah I need those for my audio so but before I continue let me show you guys where my audio are right here I have my audio here so to locate the allocation right click on that just to get the, the file extension right the file extension in this case is uh, wave 5 wav so I just want to get the location right there is my location which I will now copy okay now go straight into my codes maybe right click on the letter A that I've copied event action perform the following action and right in here I'll paste the following that's my code that I that's the code that I paste so you can see I'm actually using input spring i audio i audio is my own variable now I'm using the try cache just in case if there's any error and right here at the location of my music notes and here I have another variable okay and that's a uh, audio spring that's the variable right here and this variable here that will play the music is right here I call that iMusic so I will just copy that for that of C and just repeat the same thing I'll get back to you guys right now this is what I've done so far have no clue about music but uh, I sort of like make up that uh, those tunes which I've used in my C++ I've used that in my visual C sharp I've also used it in my flash as well my, my flash tutorial all of those tutorials are online now I'm using it in Java as you can see there's no codes in here yet so I'll just repeat exactly the same thing. Okay, let's, let's go back. Now I'll go to design. I'm just going to double click on that. A very button. Right there. There we go. That's it right there. And that's supposed to be my where is it yeah there it is so let's paste the code I think I called the file we change the name of the file to C and lowercase s there I will repeat the same thing save the file now repeat the same thing and that's for my F right there Paste the right there, change that to FS and lowercase s. That's for the G. Paste my code in there and change that to GS. I will just repeat the same thing for the rest and get back to you guys. I only have three more to do. I'm finally uh, finished, so let me play it for you guys. I 
wish I can play music. Well, guess what? I have no clue. I believe I've actually shown you guys one or two tricks on how to create your own music. Or how to create your own musical instrument. I hope you all enjoy it. So let me just leave you with uh, the codes right now. That's the code. Those are the codes that I used. It's exactly the same line of code anyway. So from here down here, all you just need to do is the file name. Make sure you get the file name right. And whatever the location is, copy the location just like I did. Here are all my own tunes. All I did was just right click, go to the property and uh, copy the location out just just like that let's copy that and that's it guys so i'm gonna close this so let's listen to some nice tunes before i just call it a day you all enjoy my beautiful piano so you all have a nice day now